Now, even by Texas standards, this is a hot summer day. Yeah, so far it is, in fact, the hottest day of the season. And we sent First Alert Meteorologist Aaron Moran outside for a bit of a weather experiment on how this heat impacts your cars. Let's go ahead and check in with Aaron now. Aaron? Yeah, so I was told that there was discussions going on in the newsroom over the last couple of days because you notice our parking lot outside, we don't have covered parking. So uh, some of our cars, we've got sunshades on. A few people like to open up the sunroofs or maybe crack the windows a little bit. And then a few people just wing it and say, all right, I'm just going to deal with whatever the temperature is when I get uh, into the car and try to head home. So we figured we would do a little experiment and see if these tips and tricks that people have been talking about over the years actually work. So you take a look here. We've got basically uh, very similar, almost identical vehicles. And what we've done with the protected car, that's what I'll call it. We put a sunshade up. We've cracked the windows in the front and back about an inch and a half to two inches. And we wanted to kind of get an idea of what the temperature would do uh, with these little safety precautions taken into account versus our unprotected car, uh, which does not have a sunshade on, does not have the windows cracked, and I'm telling you, it is scorching. So just for context here, I checked around 1130 when we started the experiment. I checked around 108 in the afternoon when I was just kind of taking a little bit of a walk, and the temperature difference, at least inside the vehicle, was only about two to five degrees. Now, the vehicle that is protected, at last check, the temperature inside was about 122 degrees. And of course, it's been baking in the sun since about 1130 this morning. The temperature reading in the unprotected car, I'm telling you, it's off the charts. Our, our thermostat only goes to 140 degrees, and it's past that at this point. So we're talking about a 20-plus degree difference. And then we have to talk about the dashboard as well. So remember, we've got the sunshade up on the protected vehicle. And at last check, we were guesstimating around 130 degrees with the thermometer that we have on the dashboard. Over here on the unprotected vehicle, it's over 150 degrees. So this is an insane difference that we're talking about. So to anyone who was asking in the newsroom yesterday, yes, these do make a difference. Now remember, the reason that these cars are heating up so intensely, it's basically the greenhouse effect. We have more energy going in than we have energy coming out, and all of that stagnant air is just heating Heating up. So some things you can do, sunshades, very important, cracking the windows as well can certainly help. Uh, I even was reading that, you know, you can take your steering wheel and you can turn it 180 degrees after you've already parked. So that way, the part that you're going to hold on to once you get into the car isn't the one baking in the sun. You can also maybe take a blanket or a beach towel, cover the seat, cover the, the gear shift there. Uh, all of these things can help anything to help when we have temperatures where we're at right now. Remember, excessive heat warning is in place for all of the Metroplex, a good bit of the area right now, heat advisory as well. At last check, I think the temperature in Fort Worth was at 109 degrees. That's the actual temperature as well. So I don't know who I made mad to send me out here <laughs> on the hottest day of the year, but I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to come back inside here. <laughs> that's 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 what happens when you tell everyone day after day we're having triple digit heat. <laughs> come back in. Uh, stay safe, uh, Aaron. But you know what? Thank you for that because it's settled now. Now we know for a fact that it right. does it does help the shades right. and cracking the windows a little bit so uh, Aaron doing the hard work for us and she's there. apologized so let her come in no <laughs> kidding I'm kidding Aaron we got some popsicles <laughs> for you inside <laughs> exactly Aaron, thank right. you hazard pay all right thanks so much Aaron